Okay, moles will appear on the regions. And if you go to the periodic table and you look at table T, you'll notice that moles appears here where if you're given grams, you're going to use this formula. And if you're given big M, which is molarity or liters, you're going to use this formula here. And then there's other times when moles is going to appear where you're going to use neither of these formulas. So I tried to put it all in one document so I could show you. And we're going to start with number one here. I'm going to go right to the question, what is the total number of moles? So right away I see moles present and I see grams. Because I see grams, if I go to periodic table, um, table T in the back, I'm going to use this one, given mass over gram formula mass. So here, moles equals given mass, which is 52. And they gave you the gram formula mass in parentheses. So that would be the answer. You would just do 52 divided by 65 and um, write that answer down. I just have to get a calculator. If it said show the setup, we would be done, but it actually wants the value. And it doesn't say anything about significant figures. Uh, the answer is 0 0.8 or 0.8. Pretty self-explanatory. Here's another one of these, number five. It says, what's the mass? Okay, mass, you have to think grams. And they gave you moles and they gave you the gram formula mass. So again, it's that same formula, but this time they gave you moles equals grams over the GFM. And in this case, we have a fraction equal to a whole number. And uh, one way to do this is to put your whole number over one. So you see that you just cross multiplying to solve. And in the calculator, if you do 164 times 4.76, you get 780.64 grams. And that's the answer. Now, if they give you a reaction, like in this one, and it will say given a reaction. So you see those words, given a reaction. How many moles of water are needed to react with two moles of calcium. So I'm going to put two above the calcium and X above the water. And you have to know that the coefficient in front represents the moles. So the coefficient, which is the number in front, is the moles. So we're going to set up a mole to coefficient ratio. So it says how many moles of water. So that's X over the coefficient in front, which is a two. Okay, and then that's equal to the 2 of calcium over the coefficient front, which is a 1. And then when you cross multiply, you get x times 1 equals 2 times 2. So the answer would be 4 moles. And that formula is not on table T, but it will say given a reaction. Here's another given a reaction where it wants to know the, the heat of the reaction if you have one mole of water, and if you look here, there's two moles of water because moles is the coefficient in front. So two moles, this is the heat released. I know it's heat released because whenever heat is on the product side, it means heat is released. So we could represent the delta H or the heat value with a negative sign to show released. So I know those are out, but you have to just realize that it's Two moles give you that quantity. So one mole is going to be half of that. So you're going to take the 571.6 and divide by two, and you'll get that answer. Okay, now, here's another one. How many moles? And I see liters and big M. So if you recall, if you go back to table T, if you see liters or big M, you're going to use the molarity one with the mole equation. So we're going to use this one. I'm going to go back to that sheet. How many moles? And the, the formula was molarity equals moles 
over liters. And again, if we have a fraction equal to a whole number, put the whole number over one and cross multiply. So you would do in your calculator 0.5 times 0.1. And when you do that, you get 0.05 as the answer. Okay. This would be on part A where they just want you to know the gram formula mass is always equivalent to one mole. So that's just the answer if it's on part A. Okay. What's the ratio of oxygen to propane? And you have to know it's always the moles that are in front. You're not going to do grams. And if you look, oxygen has a five. So it's five moles. And then propane, it says between propane and oxygen is the reaction. So this is definitely a one in front. So it's five moles to one mole. That's just the mole ratio. That's less common, but again, it's not on table T. Now, if you want the molar mass, that's just the weight. You have to look up that there's one BA, there's two oxygens and two hydrogens. And it's like math. You have to distribute that two. And then you have to look up the weights on the periodic table. So we're looking up barium, oxygen, and hydrogen. And if we look here, barium has a weight of 137.33. So we'll, we'll just round and say 137. Oxygen is 16. And hydrogen, when you look it up, it's 1. So you're going to get... Two, there's two of them, each weighs one. 16 times two is 32, and then we have 137. And then in order to get the total weight, you have to add everything up. And there's one of these on every regions. And again, you have to remember that there's no formula for it. You just have to know the formula mass, so molar mass is the sum of the atoms times the weight. And let me see if I covered everything. Okay, here's another one. When you see at 101.3 kPa and 298K, that's a hint to go to table I. And they want to know heat release when one mole of aluminum oxide is formed from its elements. So if we go to table I, okay, table I, it says at. 101.3 kPa and 298K, and we're looking for aluminum oxide formed from its elements. And I see the number here for the heat of the reaction, and that's for two moles. Two moles gives you 3351, and we want one mole. So it's not the 3351, you have to divide it by two so it looks like that would be the answer when you divide it by two and the reason why there's no negative in front is because it says heat release so that takes into account the negative negative. and so you have to be careful sometimes you have to divide or multiply depending on what they give you and then this question over here is not really a mole question it's the mava equals MBVB question, and you have 0.10 molarity of the base, and I know it's a base because it's a metal and an OH, and it's listed on the base um, table L, and it says can be neutralized by 25 ml, so that's the volume of, of means multiply, 0.2 molar acid. So really to solve here, it's just molarity of acid volume of the acid equals molarity of base volume of the base. So in the calculator, you're just going to do 0 0.2 times 25 and then divide that by 10. And when you do that, you get, actually, I didn't get it right. It's 0 0.2 times 25 divided by 0.10 and I'm getting 50. 50 mLs is the answer. And that's it on moles.